Hey, I'm Kate, and this tutorial is going to teach you how to do the half braided updo. It's best to throw a little bit of curl in your hair if you don't have naturally curly hair. So I used a one and a quarter barrel curling iron and put it on about 50% heat. So I just got a little bit of a bend and you also need some sort of texture spray. I'll be using the Amica Undone Texture Spray, which gives a lot of texture and grit so your hair will hold well in the updo but it doesn't make your hair feel heavy and weighed down with product. So the first step will be working the texture spray into your hair. I just like to lift sections and spray it in, making sure I get the underneath as well. So for this style, we'll be doing a half French braid at the top and it'll blend into the rest of the updo. You can make this as fancy or as casual as you'd like to. And I'd recommend leaving a little bit of hair, whether you have bangs or not, around your face that will pull back at the end and that'll take away from the severity of having a braid right against your hairline. So this is the section that I'll be braiding. You can see I left a decent amount of hair around my hairline and also above my ear, but I've included the majority of the top section of my hair and it finishes right around the back of my head. If it's helpful, go ahead and clip off the rest of your hair that you won't be working into the braid with some duckbill clips, and that'll keep you from picking up the hair you don't want to pick up. Start right on top, divide it into three sections, and begin doing a French braid. Once you've picked up all the hair, just continue braiding until the end. Secure the hair with a clear elastic. At this point, if you want to slide the elastic down a bit on your hair and stretch the braid out, that'll help soften the braid. Then grab it with your right hand and pin it where it would naturally fall to the back of your head. We want to begin building the updo right around where the clear elastic is holding your braid together. That way it'll be covered and no one will see it. And all we'll be doing is folding the hair sort of into these rolls and pinning. But if you want something a little bit more polished, Go ahead and really focus on smoothing each section out before you pin it.
To finish up, once your hair is all pinned, I would do a light veil of hairspray. I really like Amica's Touchable Hairspray. It's got a strong hold um, without being too stiff, and it also helps beat a little bit of humidity as well, so your hair will stay all day or all night. So like I said, you can make this as fancy or as casual as you want to depending on what you're doing that day or evening. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.